Hi guys, welcome to Home IO Video Lessons. In this video, we are going to interface physical switches with the Home IO. Now, by physical switches, I mean these switches. You can see here in the board, this is NC switch, NO switch, and emergency switch. This is a physical switch. So far, we were controlling the SCADE using inbuilt sensor, like infrared sensors and others or we were using this remote control to control the gate but now in this video I'll be telling you how you can use these physical switches to control the operation sounds weird right but we are using here DAC card to get the inputs from the outside world and give it to the home IO now in this case you'll find here this is a DAC card Advantech 4704 or if you have another DAC card which is compatible to connect IO you can use this DAC card this DAC card is wired with the peel with the inputs with the external inputs and using these inputs we are giving signal to a DAC card and this DAC card via this USB cable which is connected to our system is giving signal to connect IO so from where we can solve the logics alright so how to wire this DAC card for that you can see the attached diagram or you can find the uh, diagram details in our website alright so let's see how to configure our DAC card in the connect IO because signal is coming to the DAC card. So we can take DAC cards from here. Advantech 4704. This is a DAC card in which we also have analog inputs along with digital inputs and outputs. Alright. So to perform the operation, initially you will take a bit source bit connected like this. Okay. So to run and stop to start the DAC card. And one more bit to connect to DU and DI, yeah, this is digital input and digital output. Right now we just need the input, so I'm not connecting to the output. I'll tell you why we use that. So when you run this DAC card by this, you'll have some feedback here. It says connected to USB 4704. You have to make sure this feedback should be there. If your DAC card is not configured properly or the drivers are missing, you may not find this message. If this message is there, it means your DAC card is successfully configured with your connect time. All right. Now have a look here, you'll find this DI0 is off, DI1 is on, DI2 is on, 3, 4 is off. So let me show you this figure. Now, hold on a second, let me adjust that. Yeah. Now, in my input, this DI0 is this emergency. This is DI1, this is DI2, 3 and 4. Now, we know that this is a normally open switch, normally open. When you press this one, then your input gets on, but it is already on, okay? So we have to invert the input to make this operation like feasible or the operation in a normal operation. So I can invert the DI by pressing this one. Now have a look. Now this is normally open. When I press this switch from here, you'll find DI by getting on, all right? This is normally open, connected to DI2, this is on. DI2 is basically digital input 2. This is NC. When you press NC, DI3 will be off. And this is NC again, DI4 will be off. And this is an emergency. This is again an NC. When you press this, it will be off. When you release this by rotating this one, it will be off, on again. So these are the physical inputs, all right, which is giving, which is giving signal to our DAC card. Now let's see how to use this input to control the home IO. So in the home IO, let's say we have to control this gate, opening and closing of this gate. Okay. So what you have to do is go to home IO, make it blue so that we can we get we get the tags in connect IO. Now we have this tag. Now suppose I want to open the gate. So I'll use this open and I use DI1. I can use these DI1 to open the gate. And this one to close the gate, I can use DI2. Simple as that. Now this is the logic. Now let me just show you how this is getting on and off. So you have this button here. Now when I press DI1, which is this push button, this is turn on the gate open. And this internally is going to turn on the gate. If you want to see, I'll just show you from here. this is fine and I'm going to press the switch which will open the gate and you can see that gate getting open here you 
Yeah. Now when I press the switch in connect IO, you'll find the bits getting on and the home IO, you'll find the gate is getting open like this. So by pressing this switch, I'm opening the gate. Now it's stop because I release it. If I press it, it will open and it will open towards the end. Now to close the gate, I can use the switch. That's will close the gate. The signal is flowing from this panel, switches panel to DAC card, from DAC card to connect IO, from connect IO to home IO, like that. Alright, so let's do some latching operation to latch the gate and to get the feedback. So if you remember, we have used latching operation by SR block. So what I want is if I press the force button, if I press this one, this should open 100%, I mean fully open and if I press this one it should be fully closed okay so to make it fully open I'll be using some SR RS block so that will come over here I'll use SR in this case first when I press the switch it should set this block okay when this block is set this is going to give out signal to the gate open and when the gate is fully opened we have a feedback fully opened this is going to reset this block alright this is how you have to make the circuit ok let me just adjust this similarly for closing operation we will be using this SR block again and this button is going to set this block which is going to set the close and when the gate is 100% closed you will take this bit and you will reset this block now with this function what we have achieved is by push button action we have latched the gate opening and closing operation okay let me show you like that so let me turn on my connect IO yes so have a look right now DI1 is off okay when I press it, you'll find the gate is open. Gate will start opening because this will set the block. So this is the push button, DI1 for open. So you see, gate has started open. I've released the switch because this is set internally. And when the gate is 100% open, it will reset this block, which will reset the gate. All right, like that. Now with the second input, DI2, this is used to close the gate, like that. Alright, now the gate is getting closed and when it is 100% closed, it will stop. Okay, this is stop. So this is how you can control your inbuilt home IO environment, inbuilt home IO elements using your external switches. This gives you an extra edge of learning how to interface your external circuits with home IO environment. Now this was how we are giving signal from external world to home IO. Now let's see another experiment in which we get the signal from home IO to external world. What I mean by that is, if you see in the camera, we have few LEDs connected. Let me show you here. We have three LEDs connected, red, yellow and green. You can see from here. All right. This is red, this is yellow and this is green. Right now it is on because I have to invert the DIO. Now have a look. So we have red, we have yellow and we have green. These are off, these are connected to DO1, DO0, DO1 and DO2. And this is connected via these wires. These LEDs are getting zero volt from our DAC card again. You see this is connected to DAC card. This is the output. From the output wires are going through this terminal block. This is for isolation. And this is going to these LEDs. Okay. Now what will happen? We are going to use this LED as a feedback of the gate. What we are going to do is, when the gate is closed, we have this red LED on. All right. When the gate is 100% open, we'll have this green LED on. And when the gate is moving, we have this yellow LED on. So how to do that? Okay. So we'll go back to connect tile. Now this is the feedback of the sensor. We'll take this feedback, copy, paste here. All right and take another one, copy and paste. Now when the gate is 100% open and for the 100% closed, we can connect directly. So for the closed operation, 
we have DO2 digital output 2 red LED connected at DO2 so for a close I'll just connect this here so now the gate is closed and your red LED is on that shows that for the open I'll connect it to DO0 which is green now have a look here what will happen now this is the gate over there let me just have a look like that now when I press the open from the panel the switch you find the red is off because gate is not closed now and when the gate reaches when the gate fully opens you have the green LED on like that okay now we are having the feedback as well via home ion connectile now we need this yellow LED alright in a case when gate is moving right now the gate is stopped when the gate is moving when the gate is neither open neither closed we need this yellow LED so how to do that in that case you have to use some logic skills we need when when this is not running this is off and this is off then the yellow light should be on so for that we will be using NOR gate okay so to input R let me just adjust the blocks here I'll take inputs to NOR this is high but we need this is as low so we'll take a NOT operation coming here this will go to DO1 now when the gate is moving you have this as on so let's see when I turn right now gate is open so when I close the gate you'll find two LEDs are off this time yellow one is on all right which shows that the gate is moving when the gate is closed red is on and yellow is off all right let me show you again when the gate is open yellow is on and when the gate is fully open your green LED is on like that when the gate is again getting closed I pre I'm pressing the switch from the panel when the gate is getting closed I press the close switch the yellow is on because gate is moving and when the gate is closed your red will be on so that's how you can interface your analog your digital inputs with the DAC card and also why connect IO you can configure your DAC card you can have functions in front of the DAC card as well the only thing is we are interfacing the physical world with our virtual world that's how you get you get to learn so many things out of it you know you get the you get to know how to interface your softwares with the hardware via DAC cards that's the main that's the extra functions of connect IO which if you are having some DAC card you must configure that it will give you a more edge of learning of how to interface physical and virtual environment. If you have any query regarding this exercise or if you are trying some new exercise with DAC card, if you want to share with me, you can post a comment below this video or you can write me back. Alright. Thank you. Have a nice day. And in next video we'll see how we can have analog inputs and analog outputs from DAC cards from the external world. Alright. Thank you.